the day after I got back from my Chicago trip and that was a super fun trip with my friends I just feel very lucky that I have a group of friends that I'm close enough with in Seattle to travel with regularly I feel like it's not as common so I'm definitely really grateful just for a solid friend group out here but I came back home yesterday and I completely just potatoed <laughs> the whole day I got back from my flight I uber eats because I was craving it so badly on the flight when I'm so unproductive to that point where I'm just like completely in bed all day honestly I feel like I'm not in the best headspace but I woke up today and the sun was out and I was feeling great so it is a great day today we're going to conquer and seize the day I think I might try to squeeze in a run after work today because it is sunny it's a rare sunny day in October in Seattle which if you live in Seattle, you know those words together do not exist and I think in general It's been a lot harder for me just to feel motivated to work out when the days are getting shorter just because When it gets dark earlier, I don't want to go outside and like take a class um, Or run in the dark. So it's been a little hard. I have been trying to go to my apartment gym more consistently but in general, I just feel a lot more unmotivated. All right, guys, I am bundling up because it is 53 degrees outside right now. It's pretty cold and the sun is gonna set in 50 minutes, which I think should be enough time for me to run and get back. So we're gonna head out now. Success. Hello guys, I am back from work, but I'm actually gonna go on a walk right now because the sun came out 
and it's a beautiful day so i'm gonna squeeze in a walk before the sun goes down i think it's gonna go down in like 30 minutes so got some time and then i also want to get some groceries because i just randomly engraving spring rolls tonight so i'm gonna go to the grocery store and get some ingredients for that and shrimp honestly <laughs> i really did the bare minimum with the veggies but it's okay it still tastes good got my noodles and of course my rice paper but i am so excited i'm starving so i'm just gonna eat It is Saturday and I'm actually heading over to a brunch spot right now in Cap Hill. I am getting brunch with my church small group and there's nine of us coming so I'm gonna go over early to put us on the wait list because it usually gets packed really quickly. And I think I'm gonna drop by a cafe in between to get some work done. It's gonna be a productive morning but it's like not raining right now but I can smell like the rain on the pavement and I don't know why but I just love that smell so I'm like sniffing the the concrete I'm looking but if you want to we could Hey guys, I am back from brunch. I just spent like the whole day outside and now I'm back. But I am actually hosting some friends later tonight at my place and I need to clean it because it's a bit of a mess. I haven't cleaned since coming back from Chicago, so my apartment right now is like not in the best state. So I'm just gonna clean right now, make sure it looks good. Um, before they get here. So we're gonna do that. It is the next day, but I had some friends over last night and they stayed really late So we're just busy chatting and catching up on life But they are actually a lot older than me um, They're like in their early to mid 30s and I think when I first met them I was like I'm probably not gonna relate to these people because they're like a good 10 years older than me um, But I think something I'm always really surprised by when we talk or hang out is just I don't know like how much you can connect to someone outside of age meeting up with them actually inspired me with this next topic that i want to talk about which is comparison in your mid-20s and i think this is something that honestly any 20 something year old can relate to regardless of if you're in your early mid or late 20s but i think in your 20s is a time when people's paths really diverge so it's a time when it's really easy to compare yourself to others because you're still figuring out your path 
and everyone else is in the same boat but it may not look like it and i think especially in my early 20s which was not that long ago i think i always just wish that i was older and just wiser and more established i think one thing that i wish i had done was just really enjoy being that young and just having this mentality of wanting to learn and soak up everything from the world around me instead of thinking like okay i gotta have this stuff figured out i gotta look put together i gotta know what i'm doing with my life and recently i've been thinking i really don't want to spend my 20s being sad or wishing that i had someone else's life and i'm not gonna have this time again when i'm 24 living in seattle with my friends like this precious time is only coming once in my life there's this book that i read actually back in high school it's called extremely loud and incredibly close but there's a quote from there that has just stuck with me throughout the years and the quote is i regret that it takes a life to learn how to live so for me i'm just realizing i really don't want to spend it comparing myself to someone else feeling sad because of these arbitrary timelines in my head and i also feel like being in your 20s is having this really weird concept of time like everyone older always tells me you have so much time to figure it out you are chilling like do not stress but at the same time there's this pressure of well you are in your 20s like this is a time when you have the most time and resources to figure all of that stuff out i don't know it's just very contradictory sometimes i feel like sometimes i'm like okay i have time to figure my life out and at the same time i also feel this pressure of well this time of my 20s i probably won't have the same amount of time resources even energy to do what i want to do but i think the scary and beautiful part about life is you really can't plan any of it and so i think there's a lot of grace in that of yes you can have goals and dreams and milestones and things you want to work towards but at the same time there's just this very humbling reality that we literally cannot plan for life to happen it just kind of happens but that is also the beautiful thing because i always think the best parts of life are the most unexpected ones or the things you don't plan for so all that being said i don't really know what the conclusion is but i really hope this is encouraging for anyone else who thinks about comparison because you're not alone and I think this is something everyone literally goes through but we are all only human and we're all figuring out together in this life that we have once i hope you guys enjoyed this little tech talk and i'll see you in the next video bye